Have you done the diet after diet after diet and you know it doesn't work and you're fed up of it? Well, in today's video, I'm going to give you some tips on how to get away from this diet mentality so that you can still lose the weight in a healthy and natural way for you. So hi, I'm Vanessa McLenn. I'm a clinical hypnotherapist and I help people to lose weight by working on the emotional and psychological side of eating. So before I begin though, please click on the subscribe button, click on the bell to be notified of my next video. So keep watching for some tips on how to change your mindset about dieting. Stop worrying about putting on weight. I think out of all of the things that this is the thing that keeps us back in stuck in this diet mentality is that we're worried that if we don't go on the diet, we're going to put on weight. Now, naturally, yes, if we're eating like loads of processed foods, you know, pizzas, chips, burgers, like really crappy food, sugary food, and we're putting on weight, then yeah, of course we, we need to do something about it. But like a really restrictive diet is not the answer because what that is doing is it takes us away from us if that makes any sense and of course we don't get to learn what our eating patterns are we don't get to learn what our triggers are you know and of course what causes us to go to eat we don't learn like what the right amount of food is for us or what foods our bodies thrive on and is naturally good for us so every time we go on a diet all we're doing is papering over the cracks and we don't actually get to find out what the cracks are. So you might be like, well, how do I lose weight then without going on a diet? And <laughs> I'll put my other video up here, which tells you exactly how you can do that. And that then leads me on to the next point, which is <laughs> find out your eating patterns. So when you then like, you know, come away from the diet, right? You need to find out what your patterns of eating are. So what causes you to eat in the first place? Stress, boredom, you know, tiredness, what is driving you to eat that food? And they may be so small that you don't notice you're doing them, but because you're doing them day after day after day, the weight is piling on and you're not knowing what's causing it. So you've really got to be observant. And the thing is to do, what you can do is when you notice a pattern of food, like your bad habits, what you would say, or your just ways of eating, write them down one by one. So for instance, do you snack a lot? Do you, you know, eat late? Do you, you know, pile on them or eat loads of sweet foods after your dinner, for instance? So write it down and then you may be able to face with all of your patterns, but then just start working on every little habit, but just one by one. And then that's what becomes achievable. Dieting will not solve your problems. Ah, I'm really sorry to say this. <laughs> Now, dieting will definitely help how you feel. So yeah, of course, if you're gonna eat healthily and you know eat clean foods, for instance, a lot less non-processed foods, and your body starts to get fitter and healthier, yes, of course, you're gonna feel healthier, have more confidence, and just have a bit more oomph and vibrance in you. However, it, it's not gonna cause like deep-seated problems or problems outside, you know, life still goes on. We still have rubbish and horrible things happening to us. And it's how we react to those problems or those issues that causes perhaps problems to us. And if we're not changing ourselves deep within, those things are still going to happen. If we have like deep seated trauma or hurts from our past and it's causing us to react or behave in certain ways, you know, and especially if we turn to food to heal of those hurts, we're still going to have those same issues. So, uh, it will help us feel better, but it's not going to heal us deep, deep within us. Drop the dieting tactics. So this is everything to do with dieting, like rules to do with dieting, which might be, you know, weighing food, measuring up portion sizes, you know, counting how many bits are on pieces or all of these sorts of things and calories and sins are in with food. All right. So at the beginning, it may be a really good guideline, you know, to know how much to eat and what food to eat. But the trick is, is that we don't take it as the absolute way to go. And also what we lose is our intuition and our experience. We lose this part of our body of how much is right for our body and what foods is right for our body. When we can eat by our experience and what is right for our body, then we come away from this diet and we trust our gut instincts. And that's when we eat the exact amount that is right for us. And my last tip is Ooh, get some self-love. <laughs> this might be really cliched and go, oh, really? But it works. It really works. Like, bring out this old-fashioned, well, it's not old-fashioned, compassion, the compassion for ourselves. You see, when we go on a diet, you know, we're restricting ourselves and it's coming from that place of punishment, right? And that is just horrible, isn't it? We, who wants to be punished, for goodness sake, for something that we haven't even done wrong? You know, we haven't done anything wrong, right? 
So it's just bring out the self-love and compassion and support for ourselves. So it's coming from a place of understanding our patterns, understanding why our patterns this way. It's not our fault our patterns have turned out this way. It's just because of, you know, the way that we've been brought up or the way that we've emotionally responded to something. So the more that we can understand ourselves and treat ourselves as if we are our, our own best friends. So in other words, if we find ourselves going for a pattern like eating, you know, more biscuits, rather than scolding ourselves, going, oh, look, it's okay. What would you say to your best friend? You know, what understanding and love would you give your best friend? And that is a really, really good place to start because we, well, yeah, coming from it at a nice supportive place rather than a harsh place. So let me know what you think about the tips and comment below on which one you are going to try. Thank you very much.